So if you're currently shopping for a network attached storage, chances are storage isn't the only thing on your to-do list. So maybe you want to file for backups, maybe you're running a Plex, remote access, media streaming, and you're also looking to add security cameras either now or down the road. And that's where the decision really matters. Yes, both QNAP and Synology offer solid storage solution, remote connectivity, as well as mobile access. But depending on your preference, the differences in their surveillance system System can be a total deal breaker. So today we're answering the key questions. Which NAS has the best surveillance system, QNAP or Synology? And for me, I've set up both. I've had experience with both. So definitely I will be giving you my honest opinion. But most importantly, which one actually makes more sense to you? So we're going to jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So let's start out with why choose a NAS for surveillance. So a NAS isn't just a storage box anymore like it was years ago. NAS can replace traditional NVR, manage multiple cameras, store footage locally, and give you remote access on the go without monthly fees. And I think that was the biggest takeaway for me. I chose to go this route because I will not, I refuse to pay for a security system and I kind of do all the monitoring myself. So before we talk the cameras, let's talk the day-to-day -day experience because a NAS interface is what you'll be interacting with constantly. And let's start with Synology. Now Synology uses this station manager or DSM. This is clean, it's polished, it's very beginner friendly and this feels like a lightweight desktop operating system in a browser. For Synology DSM, everything is clearly labeled, everything's easy to find, and DSM is often praised as it just is intuitive, especially if this is your first NAS. Over to QNAP, QNAP uses QTS or QUTS Hero. This is a desktop style interface with more customization, more menus, more toggles, and more flexibility. Now, QNAP is gonna be extremely powerful, but might be slightly too complex for new users. In essence, QNAP is gonna give you more control, but also means steeper learning curve. Take away from the quick comparison of the user interfaces or the operating system between the two companies is that Synology wins for simplicity and QNAP is gonna win for power users as far as just customization. Let's jump into the surveillance software. Now, Synology is gonna use surveillance station while QNAP is going to use QVR Pro. Now both platforms support UNVIF cameras, motion detections, alert, mobile apps, as well as remote viewing, but the cost structure is very different and this is where a lot of folks maybe make that ultimate decision. So let's talk about the camera licenses. Synology Surveillance Station includes two free camera licenses. Each additional license usually runs from 40 to $60 per camera. So if you have an A camera pack, that could cost 300 to $500 depending on where you purchase it. So if you're planning to add more than two cameras, these are gonna add up really fast. As far as QNAP or QVR Pro, when you buy your NAS, you get eight free camera licenses on most of the models, so no extra charge to run up to eight cameras. So that alone can save you hundreds of dollars right there out the gate, and for some people, just the cost difference there um, is gonna make their decision. So we just talked about the licenses for the camera. Let's just quickly compare two similar NAS models for each company. So as far as two bay NAS, Synology has DS224+. Plus. It is gonna be Intel based. Drives are gonna be sold separately. The cost for this is $339. QNAP, the comparable one, is gonna be the TS264. This is gonna cost $439. It is also Intel based with the drives sold separately. So a little bit more expensive on the QNAP side for the smaller NAS. Over to a four bay comparison, Synology DS923 Plus costs upwards of $869 with no drives included. Now this is gonna have a lot of additional options including strong CPU, Intel of course, expandable RAM, drives are gonna be sold separately. QNAP on the other hand has a TS-464. Again, this is gonna be a four bay NAS. It is gonna have a strong Intel CPU, expandable RAM, and the price on this is $571. So this doesn't give us much insight, except that it depends on which model you purchase. So on one end, the smaller Synology NAS 
is $339. And the QNAP is a little bit more expensive at $439. On the larger NAS units, Synology is $869 and the QNAP is $571. So again, comparable hardware, but when that's comparable, the real difference comes into software licensing and workflow, especially for surveillance. So let's break down some of the features. So both platforms are going to cover core surveillance features you would expect. So Synology offers strong built-in analytics like line crossing, intrusion detection, as well as an easy setup. QNAP supports powerful event triggers and deep customization for advanced users. As far as performance and scalability, performance is going to greatly depend on the NAS hardware you choose but generally speaking Synology is rock solid for from small to mid-sized setups while QNAP scales better for larger camera accounts especially with eight free licenses included so after setting up and using both systems for an extended period of time this is how you choose a system choose Synology if you want the cleanest simplest NAS interface you prefer a polished beginner friendly experience and you're okay paying a little extra for cameras and licenses. Choose QNAP if you plan to run multiple cameras. You want the eight free licenses included which is going to take away a lot of the cost that you spend on Synology and also if you like deeper control and flexibility then QNAP is the way to go. So if cameras are on your to-do list even not today this is something you definitely should consider before buying. And also I'll leave a couple links in the description to the models I'm currently running as well as the drives that I'm using for both systems. Now both systems that you saw in this demo I configured all of them. I, I not only configured them, I picked out the cameras that go with them, also did the running, so I run the network, I made the ethernet cables, I did everything myself, so definitely proud of how everything came out. Again, I'll, I'll leave a link to everything in the description. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.